go. It has an extension oh, on it. Here it is. I found it. Good. Okay. So the way Alice is going to show you is actually running the whatever. What do you call that? Pin tuck. This is actually like a cording. Um, oh, cording. Corded pin tuck. <laughs> I can't remember what you call it. You you buy it in the ribbon. Sutash. Gimp. No, it's not gimp, and it's not sutash. <laughs> sutash is flat. Rat. It's like a rat tail cord. Oh. Yeah, I mean, there's another name for it that doesn't sound so nasty. So the little plastic guy that she has in the front has a hole to actually right. guide it through. Right. That's going to oh. hold it in here, okay? There's also this little plastic attachment that goes right on the front like that one did. You just open up the side part of your machine and it attaches right to the metal in the front. It just sits on. This is ridged up here. So if you're not putting anything in there, like your two too. needles are going to go next to it, and it still creates a really nice pin tuck. I have a sample of it, so I can oh, just pull that okay. out. You don't have to put it on. I can, I'm taking this out as fast as I'm putting it in because <laughs> it's slippery. Okay, I'm just going to put this over here. You have to get it in between these two things here, and those are the needles that you want in. And get over here, baby. There we go. And all the settings you use to play that were in the book, the same settings. Well, yeah, it's a three thread. It's a three thread it's rolled hem. Three thread rolled. Yep, and this it's was the narrow. The narrow. I'm sorry. It's a narrow cover stitch. Yes. I'm sorry, I, I didn't say that right. And it's a right. But you have to use the right two Yeah, you have to line the needles up with, yeah. with these two bumps, which puts it in the center and the right needle over here instead of the left. Then you put the cord through this hole and get it up under the foot in the groove that's there, because there's a, a spot there for it. And then you go ahead and you run it, and this is what it looks like. A, it creates a shaded pin tuck if you have thin enough fabric up here. But I'll also leave this sample out. This is without the cord in there. Right. If you just use that ridge piece, it mm -hmm. makes these oh. pin tucks as well. You see? So it gives you both options. Right. And, and then if you want to, you can leave these up or the you can up. press them to the side, mm -hmm. depending on what you want. Mm -hmm. Okay? So aren't you glad you did that sample? I am. 